This is Deanna's movie review 22. I am in so much pain, but I just saw the movie trailer for Black Panther. Now I see Will Smith, and I'm like, okay, please tell me he's not in this movie. So I'm watching the trailer, and they're showing clips of my nephew. Chadwick, he he was my nephew, and um, why in the world did they make Will Smith? They try to make him look like my nephew, and I'm like, what in the what? What? Like I'm so pissed right now. Like what is happening? I I I don't. I really some things that I ain't gonna say. Some things, all the things that Hollywood do, I don't like it, but. Someone once told me, if you want to see change in the world, you got to start with yourself. So if you don't like the way that, that they depict black people in movies and TV shows, you got to write your own stuff. But I feel like they put him in, in a Chadwick role because, first of all, they talking about a legend of a new king. What the hell happened? to his brother what happened to oh that's right that dude died but what happened to the other dude with the fur and stuff like that he had his little kingdom but well, why he can't be king or he could be i mean it's africa they i mean they got money i mean not money but they're like real i don't know geniuses or whatever so why are they making will smith this dude just came and this is the third black panther you just gonna show up you just gonna show up like how the <laughs> like nothing happened like are you serious i am not happy i don't i and i love black panther even though it's a fictitious place and if you want to get down to the nitty-gritty the black folk if they had a chance to go to the real one they wouldn't go they wouldn't go because then everybody gonna see their true self but anyway will smith i uh Mm -mm -mm. Okay, enough of Black Panther because I'm going to have to, first of all, I need to find out how many scenes is he in <laughs> because if he's in all the scenes throughout the whole movie, I'm not watching it. <laughs> I'm not watching it because I feel some type of way. And on that note, let me talk about Deadpool, okay? Ryan Reynolds. This dude was my favorite one. I ain't going to say my, well, yes, my favorite, one of my favorite. I would say number 10 on the list, 10, you know, top 10. So Wolverine, I said, oh, man, that joint going to be good. But Ryan Reynolds, he owns Mint Mobile, which is a cell phone company. Now, I had Mint Mobile back in when they first came out, so I think it was like, Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. It was before I moved to Florida. So it had to be between 2015, 2000, no, 2013 to 2017. And I think I had it for like a year. I forgot why I, I forgot why I switched. But uh, I've had so many cell phones. I, I, look, I'm not even going to go there. So... Deadpool, like I said, love Deadpool. I love the fact that this dude is freaking hilarious. I love the fact that how they let him be be as funny as he want to be. You know what I'm saying? And this dude is talented. Like, I didn't know he could dance. Like, like actors today, a lot of them, to me, don't really have no talent. All they can do is act. There ain't no singing, no tap dancing, no no dancing, no, no none of that. All they know how to do is act. That's it. Like, okay. But anyway, back to Deadpool. How about Ryan Reynolds take over Mint Mobile? Now, I wasn't even thinking about it because, like I said, that was back in Philly. So this was like maybe February or March of this year. And I'm seeing the commercials with him and he got his daughter. You can't see her face, though, but she's in the commercial and he's cracking me the hell up. So I'm like, oh, man, I'm going to go back to, you know, since he owned it. And he was talking about, you know, senior citizens, people over 55, we're going to give you. <laughs> ah, 
God, what a load of shit. But anyway, I got it. I convinced my friend back in Philly, right? He got it, but he didn't know for us to, like, like when you refer people, you get credit. Like, you'll get a whole free month. So that part, I love that part. But because my friend don't know how to use his phone, he went down there in person asking all these uh, uh, phone companies, like, do y'all take me? I'm trying to tell him, dude, you got to do it in the app. But anyway, long story short. So me and him both signed up, right? We both over 55. And, oh, oh my God. I'm so sorry. And, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So... They, I was like, you know, about the, the senior citizen discount. And she was like, oh, yes, we give you that. So she was, like, telling me the plans and stuff. So I was like, give me the $15 a month one. That's that's right up my alley. You know what I'm saying? Because the phone that I end up going to, I pay, like, $30 a month for that one. So I was like, 15 all right, cool. Because I always had two phones. Man, I started getting emails. Now, remember, I told her. $15 plan. That was the cheapest one for people over 55. So I'm thinking, all right, I'm going to be with these people until I die. That was not the case because lo and behold, I started getting emails talking about when your three months is up, what phone company you know tells you that it's $15 for the fr and And when I, when I tell you this, this is not what they told me. But she's telling me, when I called to argue with her, she's telling me, well, the promotion, hold up, what you mean promotion? Because if I'd have known that, I'd have never even wasted my time, wasted my money getting a new phone and all this old crap. And she's going to say, well, the promotion was only for three months. They moved me from $15 to $75. That's a hell of a hype. So I said, damn, y'all worse than Comcast. <laughs> and she's still, like, they program. That's the thing about companies. They program the hell out of their employees. Like, no matter what I said to her, she kept saying the same thing. She had the same monotone, same everything. She refused to, she refused to budge. Okay, so I went and got, I called, had my friend on the three-way. So now we both like going at it with her. She's still not budging. So I said, look, man, we just going, we just going to close our contract because he paid for six months. I only paid for, uh, for, uh, yeah, he paid for six months and I thought I was paying for the $15 every, you know, but she was saying that you could pay six months or you could pay three months up front, the six months. Or you could do a year. So he was saying he was leaving too. So she said, well, for a year, it's going to cost you 200 something dollars. We was like, what? We was like, hold the hell up. Like, what phone company does that? And I, and I, I've had, I got me a cell phone, like, as soon as they came the hell out. But this is, this is what I'm trying to explain about Ryan Reynolds. Like, I used to love this dude. Okay. And I feel like he is so smart and talented and blah 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 like just perfect if he wasn't married to Blake Lively she's beautiful he's beautiful they got beautiful kids their kids would never want for anything that's the dream on their side but on my side the reality of it is is that he's out here scamming people because that's the way I see it and I have not watched the movie with him and Wolverine. Now, I watched a video by accident of them dancing. And, and I don't think that that was Ryan Reynolds because look at the YouTube video. That's Wolverine. But the guy that has the Deadpool uh, outfit on, look, one, his face is covered. Two, look at his body, his body, the way his body is shaped. Remember, I used to love Ryan Reynolds. I know every, every nook and cranny except for the stuff that his wife see. So, I know what his body looked like. So, I'm like, but highly disappointed. Highly, highly, highly disappointed. And I know that this don't have nothing to do with the movie review, but I just feel like I had to, I had to tell somebody that because I felt like I was cheated. He felt like he was cheated. And we both went back to Ultra Mobile.
We both went back there. And see, I pay my bill online. I'm not wasting gas, time, not taking no bus to go pay bills in person. Why do people need to do that? Why do people ask for cell phones or get, and I ain't going to say ask, well, it depends on who it is. But why do people get cell phones and don't know how to use them? They don't text. And then when you text them, they take a week to answer back. Why do you have a cell phone? Like, seriously, why the hell do you have a cell phone? Like, that is so irritating to me. My neighbors are at it again. God, I can't wait till these people. Uh, I can't say what I really want to say on here, but it's either me or them. <laughs> and I don't even feel like getting out the bed to go uh, listen, put my ear <laughs> at the wall because they, the dude, her son kept knocking my, uh, look, I didn't got off the subject. Okay, so back to Ryan Reynolds. Will Pharrell, talented as hell. I did not know he know how to dance. And singing all that stuff. Uh, Mark Wahlberg. Um, these people are just. And I and I like him. Mark Wah Wahlberg. Because he helped his brother get that restaurant. I didn't even know he had siblings. Okay. Now the Wayne brothers. They to my knowledge. Even though I know a lot of black celebrities. But to my knowledge, the Wayne brothers, the oldest brother, made sure that he took care of his brothers and his sisters. He brought them all in to doing comedy and all that stuff. And they're all crazy. They're all freaking funny. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, why can't all black people do that? Why, why black folk got to be jealous of black folk? Like, seriously. Like, I, I just, that that is the, the most, next to Ryan Reynolds, this is the most disappointing, <laughs> disappointing thing in my life. And the other thing is that I sit here, remember the last, the last review I did on the, the dragon prince. And I was like, I want to ride a dragon. I'm like, okay. So I'm sitting here and I, and I, my life is so pathetic. I feel like I'm in a therapy session. My life is so pathetic. I'm sitting here and I'm like, oh my God, this dude is gorgeous. How about the, the dude don't even exist? He's freaking anime. He's a piece of paper that somebody drew and made it, put it on a daggone computer and made his body move. That's basically what the hell he is. And it ain't just him. It's like all my top anime, all the lead guys, they're all freaking gorgeous. It's torture. It really is torture. And then people be sending me messages. Oh, I love your YouTube. I love your your uh 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 your 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 um porn hub. I love this, I love that. But sister still broke. Yeah, this these people, I I'm gonna have to stop this video because I can't even concentrate. They ain't got la louder. I can't even get out the bed. All I Oh wait a minute, that might be my other neighbor. All right, let me stop this video. I still ain't getting out the bed, though. I'm just going to look out the window. <laughs> but, oh, I'm going to say this one thing, right? This don't have nothing to do with no movie review. <laughs> I mean, I done went and did everything else, right? Might as well add this little tidbit. So, I went to Publix, to the supermarket here, right? And I'm trying to be... I know I will never be 100% chemical free when it comes to food because I don't have a farm. I don't have access to, well, I do have access. I just haven't went yet to a community garden, but I'd rather live on a farm, you know, to be honest. So I saw this juice, right? And I was excited. I was like, yes, I'm going to, this is my flavor. It was, it was a uh, lemon, strawberry lemonade or limey, something like that. So I'm like, yes. Man, I get to the <laughs> I get to the I, I got to the register and I paid for my stuff. Right? And then I said, Oh, let me go get I gotta cash in my uh lottery scratch off <laughs> and I'm gonna get some more. So I'm in line. There's somebody in front of me. So while the lady is in front of me, how about I open the bottle? Now I remember I had already paid for everything. I opened the bottle, I took a sip. You know what I did? I spit that joint right out. So the lady was like, what's wrong? With, what's, what's happening? I said, girl, that is the worst thing I've ever had in my mouth. 
and I was like, <laughs> and I'm trying to trying to spit the taste out of my mouth. I'm like, oh my! I was so pissed. That drone was like five dollars. Five dollars, worst thing I ever had in my mouth. It was so nasty. Just thinking about it is making my blood pressure go. <laughs> making my blood pressure go up. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And matter of fact, I had forgot all about that day. Now I'm mad at y'all for making me remember. That nabbit. I'm gonna end this video. Y'all make sure y'all uh subscribe. Cause it's only 10% of y'all that subscribe. The ones that be like, I love you and all this, y'all not subscribe. Y'all not. I see everything. I'm like God when it comes to, well, not just me. We all, all of us creators, because YouTube shows us the people, not the names and all that, but they show us the ages, what time y'all watch our videos, that type of stuff, or, or the subscribers. With all the people that watch, my, I have over 50,000 people that watch my videos, but only got, thir what, I don't even know what the count is at now, like 13, 14,000 maybe, and it took a year and a half to get that, and with YouTube, I know I'm ranting and raving now, with YouTube, you can't get paid until you get to $100, I just got $100 last week after seven months, now everybody be like, oh, you got... You got so many subscribers. And I'm like, dude, that's nothing. Un unless your videos go viral, I'm not out here doing dumb shit like the rest of these people. I'm not out here doing the fake thing. Oh, I'm too good. Why are you taking me to Cheesecake Factory? First of all, you should be happy to be taken any damn where. <laughs> but that's a joke because I don't know these people personally. But my thing is, once one person did it, everybody start running with it. Then it was the girl. She was the funniest. She was like, well, she was complaining to the, the fake news person. And she was like, well, <laughs> my neighbor, she took her kids to CPS. And they took her kids. So she said, well, shoot, she got rid of her kids. I'm going to get rid of my kids, too. She said, when I got there, they said, we are not taking your kids. So she was like, the fake reporter was like, well, what did you do? Did you say something to her? She said, nah, man. And she said, why? She said, because she know how to throw hands. I was like, oh my God. The ones the, the, the ones of y'all that be watching her video, it's a light-skinned chick. She is freaking hilarious. And I really thought that that was serious. But then I started seeing videos of her pop up everywhere. And she reminds me of when my kids were in grade school on the Martin Luther. Oh my God. Oh my God, these people are still arguing. Okay, I'm actually sitting up now, but my legs are still hurting. I don't even feel like watching TV, but I got to do something because I can't hear because then I'm arguing. Oh, I'm so glad I'm not black because I would have to literally jump. These people have been arguing since they moved next door to me. It's been two years. It was two years for me in April of this year. Two years for them, July of this year. Two years. They have not stopped. And the whole time, the dude that's been harassing me, come to find out, this dude like me. I don't know how I'd be attracted these hmm, L-shaped people. And... The only thing I ever said to this dude was, can you please stop saying your business outside my bedroom window, outside my living room window. And then it took me a year to realize, like, this dude like me. Why, when I'm wake, when I, when he wakes me up two, three o'clock in the morning, why he's standing outside my bedroom window? What do you hope to see while I'm sleeping? I literally have my curtains taped on the side. So that way, because you know how people try to see sideways in your place. I live here by myself. I'm not I'm not taking no chances. This dude that liked me, you know, when, when the kids, when the, when the boys and girls be in grade school and kindergarten and boys like girls, they want to punch them and, and hit them and pull their hair and stuff like that. That's what this dude is doing, except for the physical stuff. 
every time I open my door to get, I get packages all the time. Open my door. This dude come outside. When the mailman is here, he come outside, turn around, look right in my face. He don't say nothing. Just turn around and look right in my face. When he saw that my video camera, because I didn't even know he was touching my stuff. I don't like people touching my stuff. I don't. Ask permission. When I say my stuff, I'm talking about like before they moved next door, I would paint outside because those fumes got formaldehyde and all that stuff in there. They kill your brain cells. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not trying to get Alzheimer's. Not yet anyway. And um, I stopped once they moved in here because I couldn't concentrate because of all the fighting and the arguing. They physically fight. They be beating their girlfriends up. They do everything. And this dude got a nerve to like me. He ain't got a pot to piss in. He li they all live with their mom. The mom don't want to live by herself. So she got all these L-shaped people living with her. And all they do is argue. And she always saying such and such, such and such. You're always doing this. You're always and I'll be like, if you don't put this boy out because that's what he is. How can he call himself a man? And he's 22. How can you call yourself a man and you still at home? You ain't got no job. You ain't got no license, no card. You have nothing to offer anyone. Nothing. He the main one that eat up all the food. Like, this is how close that this is. This is how I know all their business. I'm telling his mom, like, look, I don't want to hear him begging for stuff over the phone with these girls. Because he, he got them on the speakerphone. I don't want to hear that. I'm watching. I'm trying to watch TV. I'm hearing all this stuff. He waking me up in the morning with his multiple girlfriends or tricks or whatever. God, I ain't hear that word in a long time. I'm surprised he ain't got no illegitimate kids out there because you're not allowed to say the B word no more. But it means the same thing. Okay, I'm going to lay back down. I've been ranting and raving. Oh, God, my body's hurting so bad. And I'm supposed to be going out tomorrow night for the first time ever. I'd be leaving my house, man. And I'd be like, I'm so depressed. I have to go back home. I have to live in next door to these people, to these L-shaped people. And I cannot be, I can't be, I can't be happy. So between them dealing with my son, it's it's a no win situation. No wonder I'm fantasizing about being in relationships <laughs> with the anime characters. Uh, maybe I should thrill to myself. I've been thinking about that too. Cause that'll get me away from this, and they still fighting and arguing. It's been like twenty minutes. Yep, because I've been recording like actually 23 minutes. All right. I'm tired of boring y'all. I'm going to hang up. I'm going to split this video up because I know they're not going to let me do the whole. I don't know. They might let me do the whole 23 minutes. But that's a lot. Okie dokie.